For over a century, Neanderthals have been stuck in our collective imagination as primitive, dumb brutes. But what if almost everything you think you know about them is wrong? Modern science is rewriting the book, and today, we're debunking the top five Neanderthal myths. Myth number one, the hunched over brute. This one started with a mistake. The first nearly complete Neanderthal skeleton discovered, the old man of La Chapelle, suffered from severe arthritis and other debilitating conditions. Scientists mistakenly thought his stooped posture was typical of the entire species. The truth, Neanderthals stood upright, just like us. Their posture was powerful and balanced, built for endurance and strength. Myth number two, they were stupid. The classic image of the knuckle-dragging idiot is perhaps the most persistent myth, but the evidence says otherwise. Their brain size was actually larger on average than ours. They mastered complex toolmaking techniques, like the Levauer method, which requires forward planning and mental blueprints. They survived for hundreds of thousands of years in a brutally hostile environment, a feat that requires incredible intelligence, adaptability, and knowledge. Myth number three, they had no culture. The assumption was that they were purely practical, with no art or ritual. This is completely false. We've found evidence of eagle talon jewelry, likely used for adornment. They used pigments like red ochre, probably for body paint or symbolic purposes. There's even compelling evidence from sites like Shanadar Cave that they buried their dead, perhaps even with flowers. This suggests compassion, ritual, and a concept of something beyond mere survival. Myth number four, we wiped them out in war. The violent extinction narrative is dramatic. But there's no archaeological evidence for widespread warfare between our species. The real story is far more complex. They disappeared due to a combination of factors. Climate change that disrupted their food sources. Competition with Homo sapiens for resources, their small and fragmented population size. And, crucially, interbreeding. They didn't just die out, we absorbed them. Their DNA lives on in us. Myth number five. They are our direct ancestors. This is a tricky one. They are our very close cousins, not our grandparents. Both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens evolved from a common ancestor, likely Homo heidelbergensis, but we followed separate evolutionary paths for hundreds of thousands of years. We are parallel branches on the human family tree. Our encounter in Europe and Asia was a meeting of cousins, not a parent-child relationship. So, there you have it. The Neanderthal was not a failed version of humanity. They were intelligent, adaptable powerful, and culturally complex species, uniquely engineered to thrive in the Ice Age.